And we are back. Hopefully this time we'll actually be finishing the other uh, one. Because we've only got five bosses left, but we don't actually have all of them accessible yet. Because we still need the flippers in order to get Swamp Palace done. Alright, um... Do do do. Let's see. We actually do have the big key for Skull Woods, and that is where we need to go next. Uh, I did a little bit of research and backtracking, so we do know where we need to go to go and kill Anmolus, which is the big thing that uh, that we're going to go do, right? Yeah. to Kakariko, then to go to the Dark World, after we go back to Sanctuary to heal up. Ellie Zelda should still be here, right? Yep. Alright, so, I, uh... As a small update, a very small update, I got to 39% in Just Cause 2. We're slowly going to get up to 50%. That is our end goal for Just Cause 2, to get to 50% eventually. And then I can put it down forever, because the map is too goddamn big. We want to check this. Uh huh. That's not important, though. Is it this one? Because we didn't technically check this one yet. Yeah. Okay, so I guessed it correctly. Alright. This should get us right next to the big key. Uh, the big chest. And we need to open the big chest in Skull Woods because that is where the flippers are. Yes, I off-screen looked up more of the spoilers. Specifically flippers so that we could go to Swamp Palace shortly. We've been up there at least once. Is it this one? I don't think it is, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna check it anyway. That is where Desert Palace is. We looked it up on the footage of last part. Or rather the end of Desert Palace. No, this will not uh, get us to where we need to be. All we have left to do in here is kill animals, and we can do that now, so that's what we're going to do. Apparently, according to us, the small amount of research that I did off screen, or not this time, but um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, the luck 
that you get from the uh, fairies actually does something. So the fact that they took that out for uh, for the randomizer kind of irks me. But it doesn't irk me enough to really complain about it. And they're both dead. Yay! Small key to Tower of Hera, which is important because now we can go check the basement of, of Tower of Hera. I don't know what's there, but you know, there is an item in the in the basement of Tower of Hera. So I think that this is technically a lock then, right? Unless we use the small key. No, that we still have, because we still actually have a spare small key. Yeah, we have a spare small key, so... But even then, this doesn't actually uh, go out, does it? No. Shit. But well, wait, does it go out there? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Dang it. That's right. We uh, hook shot it over, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> Dusty thinks parents are home, which would be a good thing. Okay. I did not check, however, where we put uh, where we put uh, uh, Skull Woods and Nick. Oops. I was supposed to check that, too. Ah, uh, oh well. Ah, uh, no, we're still, uh, we're still missing, uh, at least one pendant, right? Yeah. So we can't check the Master Sword, but, uh, both. Um, but what we can do is go up this way in order to get the piece of heart that's by King Zora. And this. Wait, it's not... No, it's not here. I'm thinking of, uh... Two worlds again. And we... Oh! Huh! They actually put water goggles on Kirby! Cool! I really like that. That is cute. good at cadence, like, at all. But that is okay. It's not required that I am good at cadence. It would just be better for our viewers. And it's a dark world shop. Or is that the light? That might actually be a light world shop. I'm not sure. It could be the village of Outcast shop. Mm, 
yeah, I know, this is just a piece of heart, but I want to get this piece of heart, because this particular piece of heart has been taunting me for a while. Don't worry, we'll go into Swamp Palace um, after, after we get this piece of heart. Which we can totally do. Mm, yay. Yeah, we're technically in a side area, so... Uh, uh, so Pelipper cannot rescue us from it. As I mentioned in the normal playthrough, I've, I have always called... Um, I have always called that Pelican either... Uh, I have always co uh, called the bird that you summon with the flute pretty much since Pokemon Gen 3, Pelipper. Wait, 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 no. Swamp Palace is over this way. It is in the unimportant house. One of them. I forget which one. It's not this one, because this is the sick... Oh, it is this one, because it's six, the, six, the sick kid house. Eventually, we're going to get Bombos, and then we'll have all of the items in the game. Um, except for the Magic Mushroom? Yeah, we don't have the Magic Mushroom yet. But we have both Boomerangs, so... Oh, we're still missing the Red Mail. And we do... Yeah, we do, because this is Dungeon 2. So we can grab this... Small key to Misery Mire. We've already cleared almost all of Misery Mire. We're missing exactly one chest of Misery Mire. And I think DC showed me... Uh, showed me what one it was. It was the uh, one that you're supposed to get your first small key in. So that the rest of the dungeon becomes accessible. But I, like, never remember uh, on Randomizer to go that way. Because, you know, you get access to it immediately after uh, lowering down the pegs and... Well... Because that's how Misery Mire is designed. Once you lower down the pegs, the, pretty much the rest of the dungeon becomes immediately accessible. There are other chests in here, so we can't just rush, uh, rush straight to, to uh, straight through to Argus. Need this small key. Rather certain that the fighter that the fighter sword cannot stretch across this tile. I'm relatively certain that the, that the master and tempered sword can, and the golden sword certainly does, because we just tested that. But I'm pretty sure that the fighter sword specifically cannot stretch across that particular tile. Wait, 
this is nothing. So left side, then right side. Small key to Misery Meyer. Holy shit! There's a lot of additional small keys to Misery Meyer we didn't use. Ugh. Cause that's spare small key number three. No, uh, just number two. Okay. It does make sense though. We have an, is an additional two thousand rupees right now. Compass to Thieves Town. It's a good thing we know we already cleared Thieves Town, though. All right then. Now we can go and finish. Uh, and now we can go and finish the palace. short of small key. Oh dear. Okay. I guess we need to go to New Dark Palace instead. Which honestly isn't all that big of a deal. Specifically because I know I know pretty much all of what we're doing uh, this part. We're finishing, we're finishing up a majority of the dungeons that we can do. And then we're probably going to go through Ganon's Tower in, in order to kill the Aghanim Revenge. Uh, wait, no, the uh, Dark Palace is left this way. The chests that we're missing uh, for Dark Palace are... I do believe that there's one down here. Uh, there's one over uh, on the side of where, uh, where we're going, and then there's uh, uh, the Helm Sword King himself. Triforce race, you usually don't have to kill Helmsworth King. 
You should, because you know Helmet Sword King is one of the coolest fights in the game. But he also has a little bit more difficulty on him than I'm com comfortable with, usually. And this is why we need that key. So a thing that I learned is that you can actually use bombs against the Helmosaur King, uh, supposedly. Yep. I did not know this until very recently, so I wanted to I wanted to try it. It's not actually that bad of a strategy, you just have to watch out for the tail. And then, because we have silver arrows, die! Magic mushroom. Swamp Palace, which we need a small key for, and, uh, Mothula, which we can go kill, we just have to go and find where Mothula was again. Fuck. And I didn't check, uh, with my, uh, Where do we put Tower of Hera? Because I forget that too, actually. Huh. I guess instead what we'll do is we'll go into Ganon's Tower, because we can totally do all of Ganon's Tower now. Um, except we don't have Ganon's Tower big key. Shit. Alright. Well, where did you go, Tower of Hera? I don't remember where we put you. I don't think it's this. No, that's just the bar. I do remember that being the bar. Um, I was supposed to check the uh, where the where we left the smithy too, and uh, I forgot to check. Man, hey, I am just the worst at prep.
Wait, we know it's not this. This is sick. This is sick, kid. Right. in uh, Misery Mire. I don't think we did. And I know it's not that. That's the that's the main entrance into uh, into Turtle Rock. It's so nice to actually have the flippers. Adventure Spring. Spiral Cave. We did not clear this last time, so we so we should clear it now. Oh look, they're actually home now! Yay! And Compass to Swamp Palace. That is nice, but not actually needed because we know where the uh, remaining treasure chests are. Something that is not Meyer Shed. 
that we have already looted. So we'll loot, so we'll attempt to get the other cave down here. Unfortunately, dashing into the cactuses does hurt you because they are sharp and spiky. Oh, no, they're not actually home yet. It's kind of concerning because, you know, it's 20 minutes to midnight, but they are their own adults, and they decided to go out into the cold winter snow. Plus, they, leave dust, let, they left Dusty and Buddy as guard dogs. I'm not entirely sure how, how good a guard dog Buddy is, but Dusty is very loud, so... Mm, this is more Turtle Rock. We don't need to be in more Turtle Rock. The two keys that we have are for the, uh, are for the, uh, Chain Chomp 3. And that's it. There's Tower of Hera. Okay. To the basement. You know, one of these days I'm gonna I'm going to actually uh, restart my run of uh, Radiant Dawn so I can go play as Har, because Har is just Har is the best fire on the character. I know it's a weird time for me to bring that up, but I bring it up now very specifically because I was uh, going through um, older Facebook posts that I made like uh, upwards of a year ago, and I was playing Fire Emblem, um, uh, 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 Radiant Dawn, and, and I'm and I'm like. Uh, the whole reason I uh, started Radiant Dawn again is because I was like, I, you know, I actually really like my one run of uh, through Radiant Dawn, and I remember it being mostly easy. Turns out it was because I was actually on the easy mode, which is the normal difficulty, uh, which I learned from BSC recently. Okay, and so. Yeah, I was able to just steamroll through the entire game using pretty much just Hike and Har. And you can totally do that, too, because Hike and Har are just that fucking amazing. Okay. Sadly, that's all that we can do there. Um, then... Okay. Um, we must continue looking for... The, the end of Skull Woods. I want to say End of Skull Woods is actually in Dark World, but I'm not entirely sure. So we will continue checking stuff. I wish the Mirror Shield was better in this game. But I tend to like Har's character archetype a lot. It's partially why Shikamaru is my favorite character from Naruto. He is a he uh, he is tremendous. He is just the most laid back, lazy motherfucker in the entire anime, and yet he's also easily the second most powerful character in the show. At least when it comes to classic Naruto, the ability the ability to fight pretty much every anyone and everyone in a in a 100 meter uh, area around him during the day. Oh yeah, Shik uh, Shikamaru would easily be, would easily be one of the hardest characters uh, to defeat um, if uh, if the uh, if you tried to fight him when he has any uh, sort of advantages. And, and on top of that, he is also stupidly brilliant. And I don't mean that he's so dumb that he's brilliant. I mean, no, he is literally smarter than a majority of the cast. And and this is a cast that is absolutely loaded with uh, uh, with people with with you know centuries of freaking uh, mar uh, martial arts experience. Effectively, no one is actually that old, but they have the ability to become the, that old. They just choose not to. No, rather intelligently, might I add, because being that old is very, very sad. 
Where did we put you, Tower of Hera? Uh, no, we, not Tower of Hera. Uh, end of Skullwoods. And no, it's not actually in Skullwoods. I know it's not actually in Skullwoods, because we were in Skullwoods, and it was not there. It's not here, and it's not in Shield Cave either. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, fake ice. I don't think it's in any of the Eastern Palace parts. Uh, we're still missing this, um, uh, the other, uh, small key to that place, too. Which is odd. By now, we almost certainly should have, uh, should have gotten it. I know we said that it's not here, but we want to check it any damn way. That's dark. That's the dark world. Uh, dark palace hint house. I just hope it's not on fucking Death Mountain. I don't want it to be on Death Mountain because Death Mountain's got like twenty fucking entrances. I should probably just bring Dusty in here until they get home. You see, every time he goes off like that, he, uh, uh, Buddy ends up saying, Oh, dude, they're not home yet. And Dusty just doesn't believe them and, until like a whole two minutes later when he stops working. It is very sad for Buddy. Place the Swamp Palace again. It's a kid's house. Yeah, Swamp Palace is a kid's house. Okay. That's unimportant. Um. A Kakariko Shop. Is one of the bad gamble games. Uh, resource Hut. Is the wishing well? Ah. Uh, Stitch's house. Mm. Is this and this takes us over to Dark World? It's not. I it's not Ice Palace. is an item that we have not yet grabbed. Now that we have the flippers, we can grab it. It's probably not important, but... Ah, oh shit, we have to be in Dark World in order to get it, though. Okay. Um, what is the easy one? Um, it's... Yeah. It's five, right? Yeah. And while we're over here, we can check these, too. Because we forgot to check these. There's Smithy! We find it, Smithy. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's a Kakariko shop. Um, actually, let's do Smithy real quick. Because uh, we can most certainly do Smithy. Thank you. 
this is a change that I am really thankful for from Raw from the Randomizer, to be perfectly honest. The ability to actually carry the NPCs um, uh, with the flute, that is so nice. I think you can do it originally, but I'm too much of a coward to go and check. Especially since it would take me about an hour, uh, an hour to get uh, up to the point where I could check. That's not a slight against the. Uh, that's not a slight against the, for the past for the record. That's a slight against me because of how sl how slow it takes, when, how long I end up uh, taking when I play with all of the past. Smithy! Yay! Leave, come back, pay them 10 rupees. For a piece of heart. Thank you! Full heart container. So we're probably missing one, uh, one boss container. And... Shit, what if... Right, right, right. We wanted to do... No, we wanted to do the item that's in the lake. Which requires us to be over at this side of Dark World. And have the flippers. That was a waste of a dash. That was a decent dash. Would have been better had I not crashed, though. Thank you. 
You never need to go this uh, over this way uh, for Dark World. The only thing that's over here uh, in the normal game is like this has got a hint tile in it, and here's the entrance to Hyrule Castle. Uh, but both of these are, uh, but both of these are mostly empty. Slumberjack's house. Speaking of, we could go and uh, do that. I don't think we want to, but it's definitely something that we can do. powder though, right? Yes. Ten arrows. Fuck you, bat. That's the tile that's over at the, uh, at, uh, at the end of Dark World of Hylia. Yeah, that's Syrup's house. because this is still connected. This is, uh, lumber, uh, yeah, that's the Lumberjack's exit from over here. And we did check this, right? Not, not during this session, but we did check this. Yeah, just another adventure spring. And I think, if I recall correctly, this is actually Ganon, right? That's Ganon. Okay. Ooh, apples. So... What other entrances have we not checked? Uh, we know it's not Syrup's Hut. Because Syrup's Hut is... You know, I don't remember what Syrup's Hut is. I just know... Uh, I just remember that it's not uh, what we're looking for. So, we will check it. I could have sworn that it wasn't in Death Mountain. Like, the only dungeon that I, that I recall being in Death Mountain was Ice Palace. Despite all the entrances that are there. Oh, and, uh... It's a shooting game. Alright, 
Death Mountain. I mean... Alright, now we will go check well, what the uh, Mushroom Transaction is first. I think, I'm rather certain that it's actually 300 rupees. I mean, I'm per I personally hope I'm wrong and that it's actually the red mail, but, you know. Did we check that? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah, we did. We checked this. See, that is how bad my memory is. I don't remember that that's an adventurous spring, and we were here two minutes ago. Happy February 2nd, everybody. For that is when I have recorded this. I probably won't upload this until... Um, actually... Part 3... Uh, session 3 is the one that's getting uploaded t uh, tonight. Yeah, uh, once I go to bed. Yeah, 50 rupees. We have too many rupees here. Yes, Goodby, I know, you are amazing, but mm, we don't need you. Whereas we will need Panacea at some point. Or at least we will probably need Panacea at some point. Uh, that's, that's Hookshot Cave. I always think that that's Paradox Cape, but it's not that took shot. That is way over to the other side of Death Mountain. I think it's specifically this exit, right? No, because that is a Dark World shop. The good Dark World shop that's got the mid shield in it. So that when a like like eats your mid shield, you can uh, you can reclaim it. Uh, the one over there is Ice Palace, but this is a uh, Dark World Cave of Power. Evil sky cabbages. Like. Honestly, I'm a pretty big fan of the whole, uh, of the cold Sasuke retrieval arc. I honestly am. I know that it's not the best, the, the best written arc of classic Naruto, especially since the, uh, uh, the ending fight, uh, between Sasuke and Naruto doesn't actually look that good. It, it doesn't, okay? I mean, it's really intense, sure, but it's so goddamn blurry most of the damn time. It is not pleasant to watch. Gamble games, but honestly, the Sasuke Retrieval Art has got a has got a huge number of, of really really good fights in it. Uh, um, Neji vs Kitamaru, I actually think is really really nice and is a pretty good insight into, ne into Neji's character, or at the very least, the flaws of his power set. <clears throat> and it shows off that Neji actually does. Uh, have to have to train in order, in order to attempt to cover his weaknesses, and he's very self-conscious about his weaknesses. It's one of the few things that I uh, that I actually have to uh, disagree with League of Graves on. Although the red, although the entirety of that video was amazing, um, Neji, although is uh, uh, although Neji is a very flawed character uh, in classic Naruto, um, the design uh, it's very much a it's very much a nurture problem as opposed to nature. Neji uh, is willing and able to work just as hard as uh, Rock Lee is, but he doesn't need to. And he was pretty much raised uh, raised up uh, to believe that he didn't uh, that he shouldn't have to and shouldn't want to. Mostly because he was uh, he was destined to never be as powerful as the as the uh, head the head branch family. Which was total bullshit, because genetically he is, you know, 
pretty uh, he is pretty much the exact same as Hinata, just you know, uh, just with more power somehow. Mostly because his dad was more powerful. Genetics in Naruto are very difficult to keep track of. Anywho, the fight against Kita, uh, the fight against Kitamaru, although although kind although you know a bit drawn out and not a lot actually happens during it, is a really interesting. Uh, as a really interesting exploration of Neji's power set and uh, and what he is able to do with it. I know we checked this, but I forget what it is, so we're checking it again. This was whatever that no, this was that twenty ruby gave. <laughs> and I actually, and although I was just, um, although I was just saying how how much I like the uh, Neji versus uh, Kitamaru fight, uh, this Eastern Palace which we've already cleared, I like uh, like all of the fights there. The only fight that I don't actually like in that arc is actually uh, Choji versus. Um, Whatever the hell that, uh, whatever the hell the, uh, uh, the, the bolt, the, uh, boulder guy, uh, the boulder dude's name was. Because I don't remember his name at all. And the, and I don't actually dislike that, uh, fight because of Choji. Choji actually has a really, a really awesome an, uh, an, anime hero moment there. What I dislike about that fight is that Choji wins it pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much by dying, and then it's revealed in Shippuden that not only did he not die, he uh, got to keep all that power. And it's like, well, then why did you make it look like he died? That's not fair, guys. Mm, to be perfectly honest, he, pro he it's actually a very good thing that he did not die there, because you know, him uh, uh, him dying uh, just because he just because. Uh, uh, it is it is exactly what he thought was expected of him. Yeah, that would be kind of stupid and sh and show off how uh, and show off that uh, Shikamaru really doesn't understand his teammates all that well, and he doesn't. But that's because this is literally their first mission, and well, it's a hodgepodge of uh, of units from uh, from drastically different teams. Notice that Sakura isn't on this damn team. I mean, I believe it's because she went out. You know what? Let's go and get that chest that we're missing in Misery Mire. I believe it's because she's starting off uh, her train with Tsunade, and she's gonna go meet up with. Uh, her name's not Sasori, but Sasori's grandmother. I forget what her name actually is. Mostly because that's the uh, that's the only uh, important fight that she's actually a part of. So yeah, although although Shikamaru doesn't really uh, know or understand his teammates all that well, um, he's he's kind of you know forced into that position by uh, by the admin uh, by the administrators as, um, as opposed to you know uh, coming across that problem naturally. And this one, yep, this is the one that we're missing. But I didn't hit the damn buttons, so... Need to hit this switch. Okay, and it's... The map to Swamp Palace. Bleh. Anyway. So I was wrong. Mystery Meyer is in, is in Death Mountain 2. Damn. This is an adventure spring. I remember that somehow. Uh, 
Not without... I mean... Uh, there's some stuff that we can do in Ganon's Tower without the big key, question mark. But, without the big key... I really don't want to go in there! Ugh... Still need to check that en that entrance and um, oh wait no oh wait what the mountain come on Kiba versus, uh, uh, yeah, Kiba versus Sakon, uh, Sakon and Yakon. I actually really like that fight as well, because it shows off that, uh, Kiba and Akimaru are, are an actual team and have, de and have developed, uh, combination strategies that most, that most other ninja would just simply, uh, totally ignore. Plus, uh, Kiba is totally, is, co is totally willing to sacrifice himself in order, in order to save, uh, Akimaru, and it's like, that's very, very hard wrenching for me because Akumaru is a very good puppet dog. Mm. You also have Rock Lee versus uh, uh, Kimamaru, and uh, to be perfectly honest, the uh, the jokey part of the jokey part of it being a drunken a drunken fist match is kind of bad, but it's also kind of hilarious given that uh, it's supposed to be a comedy fight. And the thing is, although it most certainly is a comedy fight, uh, shit, is it left or right? I think it's left. Yep, left. Um. Well, fuck. <sighs> The fight is still actually uh, really entertaining. Uh, just uh, really entertaining to watch. Did we check these? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Shit. Um. Uh oh. Is it Dark Palace entrance? Cause. I don't think it's Dark Palace Entrance. And it's not Ganon's Tower, because we can't get into Ganon's Tower yet. We still need, uh, the, uh, we still need the other, uh, pendant, uh the other crystals yet. Uh, the other two crystals. And I know it's not the, uh, and I know it's not uh, the Dark Palace Hit House because that is the guy with the beds. But we are running out of places to check. the library. Shit. Um. I should take a moment to pause, because I can do that, and, uh, go look up where these are. Because we're supposed to be finishing up the dungeons this time. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can actually do I can actually do uh, um, a mo 
most of uh, most of the rest of Cannon's Tower without the big key. I mean, I can start Gauntlet, sure, but I don't think I can do. I don't think I can get that far in. Stairs here go to uh, the other bonk fair, uh, the other uh, bonk fairies. How to act to willingly activate that glitch? I really don't. Yeah, no, Kakariko shop. I don't think it's in either of the. Uh, I don't think it's in either of the entrances. Uh, tie. To this. Mm, yeah, because that's Magic Cave. Mm, that's Sea House. It's not the library because the library is the 
is the easy way into uh, a dark world that we had, although... Although I think that's because it was connected directly to that entrance up there, so we could certainly go check that. Alright, let's go check that. the southern exit we know that that's uh we know that that's not anything important but the far right exit the other thing i can attempt to check is the uh the uh desert pallet ledge from misery meyer we could you know attempt and fail to check that This is this that we can't actually go through. Um, did we check Dark World? Uh, I don't think we checked uh, this cave uh, while we were over here. No. We didn't, but yeah, that's not it. So. Right now, specifically, we're looking for the big key to Ganon's tower, or the small key to Swamp Palace that we're missing. Either of those will allow us to continue on. says, well, it's a Hashwala, but, or, uh, not it's a but his wife. Yeah, that is not where we need to be. Thank you. 
I am lost. Ooh. Big key to Tower of Hera. Alright. Where do we put... God damn it, where do we put Tower of Hera? Uh. No, I don't remember where we put Tower of Hera. Fuck. I want to say it was on Death Mountain. Sky Cabin, just leave me alone, please. It's just Misery Mire and uh, Ice Palace. Yeah. Tower of Hera is not here. Why can I not remember where we left these places? Just here. We cleared a small portion of it and then we had to leave because we didn't get the things that we needed. It should not be this difficult for me to remember this shit. It really shouldn't. That is the Misery Meyer Shed. This is Mimic Cave. either. We're mostly lost because I keep forgetting where I put things. Chapel, heal us.
obviously we're probably missing two full heart containers and four pieces of heart. And this, my friends, is why we do Triforce races instead of defeat Ganon uh, runs. Because although Triforce races have a tendency of running ver uh, 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 ending uh, very abruptly in, uh, in Ice Palace, well, at least they have a dedicated ending, usually. just the 20 rubies thing. It. We found the end of Skull Woods. I could have sworn we checked that goddamn cave twice. And that, my friends, is why we double check. Here we have half magic and a panacea. Just don't get picked up by, uh, by the uh, by the uh, wall master when you're flying. Hello, Meta Knight, which is probably gonna be your second to last appearance in this motherfucker. Exasperated is a terrible state of mind to fight Moth Killian, but we're fucking invincible, so it doesn't matter. We're coming into the Mothia flight with three fairies and a panacea, as well as the blue mail, and effectively 15 hearts. We have the silver bow as well. As a point of reminder, Mothula is one of the like two bosses in the entire game that takes more than one shot with the silver bow to kill. reason she seems to be immune to my silver arrows. Huh. Allow me to fix that with gold sword, bitch. Okay. 
Now we have to go find Tower of Hair still. But it's not in Death Mountain. We checked almost everything in Death Mountain and it wasn't here. King's Tomb. I kind of want to say it was, uh, it was either in Misery Mire or uh, a steroid from Misery Mire. Found it. <laughs> All right, the three treasure chests are, that are in here. Um, one on the path up, Moldorn. Um, no, uh, uh, one on the path up, uh, Moldorn itself, and and uh, the big uh, and the big chest. Oh, I hope Moldorm has got the big key for, uh, for Ganon's 
Tower, or the Small Key, uh, for Swamp Palace. Because, again, that's, uh, that's what's keeping us from uh, progressing right now. Just those things. Yeah, you want, you want uh, blue, you want blue up. And for that. Yep, two spin attacks. Heart container. Um... We might be boned. Wait! No, no, no! We're not boned. No, I totally fucking forgot. There is... There is a small key in Swamp Palace. That we did not yet collect. It is protected by the hookshot. I totally forgot about it. Because I never... Because I never remember that uh, you need it. I am an... I am a fucking idiot. I mean, we needed to kill... We needed to kill Moldorm and, uh... And Mothfiel anyway. We did. But... We didn't need to feel so, uh, so bad about it and be so lost. That is the only time we get to see we get to see one of those spawn a thing. Now, normally these two chests are uh, our resources. I think it's like arrows and rupees. But here, it's the small key to skull. Whoa. Small key to skull woods. Seriously. You better have the big key to Ganon's tower. Go 
Gold Sword one-shots these. I think the Tempered Sword also one-shots them, but, you know, you're not supposed to have the Gold Sword at this point. I'm not sure if you can actually uh, use Bombos on, on them in order to kill them. I think they only take damage if they're stunned, so probably not. Spin attack and two spin attacks. Big key to Ganon's tower. Big key to Ganon's tower and Penny of Wisdom. All right. So the hope is that with the uh, with the Penny of Wisdom we can go loot the uh, Master Sword uh, pilt and it's the Red Mail. We have all we have all the uh Alright. We have all the pendants, all the crystals. We are ready. I mean we still have to go through uh Ganon's Tower, but going through Ganon's Tower is not that big of a deal since uh no, since again we've got, you know, uh, more than uh, more than enough uh, steroids in our favor. It's not this one, right? Yeah. They want you to go through Ganon's Tower with the blue, uh, uh, with the blue mail for the most part, anyway. So. Ahem. Hey, the pendant of power is yellow. It's not supposed to be yellow. The map to Misery Mire. Not that it fucking matters. Uh, Alright. Uh, to Demon's House. Oh, right, we're in Lost Woods. We can't, uh... Can we actually do it here? No, yeah. So we solved that, so... Now, so now Pelipper works. That is a bad thing. Okay, Agadem does not actually have anything. The, ch the chests that we're missing here, I honestly do not know. I, I don't, and and to, for the record, I don't think it matters that I don't know what chests we're missing. The important thing is that we can clear, that, is that we can just clear the game now. It's not gonna. It's still not gonna be easy. I mean, it's going to be mostly easy, but not totally easy. You just have to deal with these traps after all. Evil door become slain. We have slain the door. Skyrim and slay a majority of the dragons with my leftover arrows. Because, you know, you don't actually buy arrows in Skyrim. You, uh, you loot them from enemies that you've slain. Like a smart person. Okay. 
And yes, throwing pots uh, at enemies at the end of the game is still mo is still one of the best uh, methods of dealing with enemy encounters. No joke, pot, uh, pots are uh, pots are almost are almost more powerful than the sword at every stage of the game. Like this is the only stage of the game when pots are, uh, could be considered weaker than the sword, and even here, because of the uh, because of the difficulty of the enemies that we are fighting, the pots are still a viable option. It is nuts how effective pots are. This is the rematch with Landmolus. Watch as I kill each of them with two strikes. Landmolus doesn't have anything to drop, but he is protecting... I thought he was protecting some chests. Huh, I guess not. But he is protecting this room, and... Did we hit him? I don't think we did. No. Go. And go. I think we got him. This is why we have Panacea. In the event that, in the event that they don't actually drop enough magic, and so that we can spam ether against the wizard of rooms. Okay, solve this part first. She made it through. Woot. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Reset. This can be a pain. Yep. Thank you. Okay, here's some treasure chests. Bomb refill, fuck you. Red rupee, double fanuck you. say, I don't think we do. We just have to find the way back out. Huh. I have doubled the amount of times I've fallen in this pit in my life in this one run. Great. He is protecting a chest. But he is protecting a chest that we used to get out, so... Um, 
he just phased through my fucking sword. If you ever want proof, uh, if you ever want proof that the game is literally cheating to stop you from uh, from succeeding, there are you, you, there are very easy ways to make that conjecture real. The biggest method, of course, is with ledges. The game loves using ledges to fuck you over. I cannot switch over to the home shot. Red mail! know or care where that last treasure chest is. I've never bothered to find it. We're, go we're, we're just going. We know what's in it. It's the last heart container. I think we hit him twice there. I'm not sure. So, what ha what's about to happen here, I'm okay with. Hi, Pelipper. But apparently, Pelipper managed to find... I managed to find a, uh, you know... A portal in the Dark World that he could that he could access in order to take us to Dark World. Invisible Kirby! Oh, okay. As far as I know, we're missing exactly one treasure chest. And I don't give a shit. Let's go. Oh, right. Um. Okay, two. <laughs> I forgot. This isn't where Ganon is right now. Hello, sir. <laughs> uh, Ganon's in Light World. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Well, I need to be in, in that dark world in order to, to easily stock a pot of fairies anyway, so... Bonk. Okay. Ahem. To light world. Damn it, castle ex exterior. You're in the way. Stop being in the way. Or I will quote Sonic 3 and Knuckles at you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, right, it's, uh, it's the... It's not Shield Cave, it's the other one. It's the one up there, right? I think it's the one up there. 
Whoosh. We're trying to get full hearts before, uh, before we, uh, uh, before we, uh, start the fight with Ganon. Not because it will make the fight easier, to be perfectly honest, I should go in to the Ganon fight with one heart missing. Specifically so that I don't, uh, spam Sword Beam. Because, although most of the fight doesn't, uh, depend on how much damage you do, the first part does. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Hello, Ganon. Did you know? Nutrient experts recommended that at least half of our daily uh, grains come from whole grain products. Yes, I did in fact know that. It's a statistic from the 90s. Hello, bats. Okay, I think we've got... I think we've hit him enough times for him to uh, switch over to the next phase. Yep. Although we we'll still have to hit him once in order for him to actually transition into each part of this phase. Okay. The damage that we do to him right now is immaterial. But we do actually have to hit uh, the amount of damage, rather, that we do to him as a material. We do still actually have to hit him, though. Mm, yes, we did find the silver arrows in your tower. Ah, uh, okay. And... Whoosh! Around... Uh, hey! No! Yeah! Stabbed! Alright. Panacea. I should have waited, but no. sessions, each of about two and a half hours apiece. Ugh. Daniel, don't ever ask me to do a full a, a full playthrough of, uh, of, uh, of with Ganon as a gold defeat. OMG, that is fucking right. Our time is absolutely terrible. And now we have to sit through the credits in order to see just how bad our time is. Our time would be significantly better had I not fucked over the tile room and gotten the moon pearl. If we had actually gotten the moon pearl when we were supposed to, who is this even? Um, that's actually an interesting point because since we were in uh, the open state, we never saw the king die. Yeah. Holy shit, we never actually finished a Hyrule Escape, did we? No, we uh, we never got the other the other small key for it. Huh. Mind, we, mind you, we got the important chest in there, but... So as far as I know, we're missing one chest in Ganon's Tower that I have no fucking clue where that is. And, oh, right, the big chest. We never opened the big chest, because the big chest was uh, after the Almo sites, and I didn't want to uh, restart, I didn't want to go through that. Okay, so we're missing that chest, and it's a heart container. 
Um, other chests that I'm missing, I don't believe there are any. I th uh, especially, especially with the uh, amount of fucking rupees that we ended up, ended on. Little for sale. Yeah, he had a piece of heart. Ugh, God. This took way too long. It's gonna say somewhere between seven and eight, uh, seven and eight hours, but we have to sit through the entire credits. Buying OK drugs, which is a reference to the fact that uh, she'll purchase the mushroom from you for 50 rupees. Twin lumberjacks, which didn't have anything in it, because... I mean, the, lum the lumberjacks, uh, uh, the actual lumberjacks, uh, pit ended up having the Master Sword, but it wasn't there. Life Boy feels love again. <sighs> I think he had a piece of heart. I don't know. Venus at your desire. Kind of. I mean, we actually did blow up the wall there to actually spawn uh, the fairies, so... Oh, we didn't end up using it there. The Rupee Smiths. I do still love this game, but dear God, I don't want to go. I don't want to go through a randomizer where uh, stick collecting kid. Yeah, because he had arrows, bastard. But I want to go through a randomizer with the golden feet again and again, man. Triforce Race is where it's at because I can spend a, I can spend two or three hours, you know, uh, just uh, just uh, wandering around, and enjoying enjoying the music, and uh, and doing what I want to do for the most part. I mean, sometimes I'll get screwed and have to take down Malthula, but very rarely is that the case. Whereas on defeat Ganon, I have to clear everything. Ugh. And the map sleeps again forever. Do, 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 do. That twang makes you want to go play Master of Magic, but I am so terrible at that. I've gotten so significantly worse at it too. I mean, you can still you can still do pretty much anything that you want, assuming that you take either Lizardmen or uh, or the ha uh, or the Halflings. But any other race aside from those, I just get fucking raffle stomped. Can't even do anything all that well with Barbarians, and Barbarians are pretty e have a decent, have a relatively easy mid game. Ugh. All of these Japanese names like Yoichi Yamada. My legs hurt. I want a snack. I'm just gonna complain about things for the next ten fucking minutes. Nah. So aside from my fuck-ups, this was actually a fun run. It was. I kept complaining about everything, but that's because I kept fucking up. It shouldn't be that fucking hard to remember where everything is. Well, maybe not everything, but where, at the very least, where the dungeons were, okay? I shouldn't have had to circle the entire goddamn map, both versions of it, four times to find the goddamn Tower of Hera again. Or the end of Skull Woods. You see, it, it threw me off because the end of Skullwoods uh, during the uh, the Kirby retro session that I tried that I tried and dropped because Mothiel was the first boss I was supposed to kill with the fighter sword. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not fighting Mothiel with the fighter sword. Not only does she not take damage from it, but um, no, I have five hearts and I have no protection against fireballs. Not that it matters. Let me make this very obvious. 
Mo uh, Mothula is my least favorite fight in the game, but not because of Mothula herself. Fighting her in her arena is the big issue. The conveyor belts com uh, combined with the traps and the slowdown is fucking horrendous to deal with all at once. And it is, in fact, the hardest fight in the game. Ganon may hit harder, but uh, Ganon has got nothing on Mothula. If Mothula had the same gimmick that Ganon had, Mothula would actually be almost impossible. Yeah, especially depending on where the torch tiles were. Alright, here we go. The important stuff. Time found. Uh, 7 minutes for first sword, hour and 40 minutes for the Pegasus boots, hour and 6 minutes for the flute, and 52 minutes for the mirror. Boss kills. No swordless boss kills because I don't think that's actually fucking possible. Uh, 2 with the Tempered Sword, and 12 of 13. Notice that that's 14 fucking boss kills. Seven deaths, one fair revive. 17 minutes, 51 total lag time. 50, yeah. Total time, 8 hours and 15 minutes. And I missed three chests. I don't know where the other two chests that I'm missing are, and I do not fucking care. We got almost fucking everything. And apparently, the things that we're missing were a bomb, or a bomb, or a bomb and arrow respawn, or rupees, whatever. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for sticking with me. Oh right, I never got the thing. I never got the uh, the shovel, the, the shovel item. Be safe, everybody.